Yes, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a very, very, very short video because I have to stay over my girlfriend's house, which is near Gechle Gate in the Rumney Valley, Caffini area. Far away from Caffini, so I'm from Caffini. But um, there is Roman Fortress up there. So I thought I'll do a little short video just to show you what, what it is. Maybe a couple of things there. But I don't know, let's just get into it. This video could be just like under five minutes because um, it's not really a lot to see there. It is very small. It's not like the Kelly on Roman Forts or the Roman Baths in Bath. But I think it's in the sea because you don't get a lot thing around here like that. Because down the road that way, I actually explored it and that's Penalta Colliery. It's one of my first proper exploring videos that was. So. Let's just have a look at this one. I think this alone on the shop shutters sums up Gechle Gay because it was part of the Penalta Colliery. See, that one is a mining shaft. That is a face of a miner, and that is the wheels at Penalta Colliery. So, you think this area is about the Roman forts? It's definitely not because I wouldn't be surprised the Roman forts were. Like forgotten in time until probably the 1800s when exca excavation jobs started. When they start uncovering forts like High Leon and um, all that. So we're just going to move on past the harp around the corner and then we should be there. So you know you're at your halfway point at this um, Roman fort. You go past the harp and into this really, really beautiful church graveyard. It is well preserved. Let the clock on it, but um, it does kind of remind me a little bit of um, Eglo Cillin. So have a look down this way, see if there's any more to look at. So there's a little opening in the valley there, I want to show you that and see what that looks like. Yeah, nice view. The Roman conquest of Wales began in either AD 47 or AD 48. The Romans began invading in North Wales, but South Wales wasn't invaded until AD 73 by Julius Fontius. Forts were built in Caerleon and Gechle Gay. Located between the Taff and Rumney Valley, the Exerity Fort was mainly built with wood with minor brickwork. After the Romans left Wales, Gechle Gay was forgotten until 1899. John Ward of Cardiff Museum discovered that there were forts existing in the area, and in 1908 it was discovered. I was just up this road by here and I'm at the Roman Forts. It's like three minutes says on Google, so we're just gonna get there and get on with it. But Gechlige, all these houses, this village was built just probably to house people at Penalta Colliery. But every like village, even if there is a coal mining heritage to it, does have its own history and like the Romans settled here on their way to conquer whole of Wales, probably on their way up to Scotland, just trying to find different avenues to get to the Scots. And obviously that will be Hadrian's Wall was built was the old border because the Romans famously couldn't conquer the Scots. So passing the church, it looks like there's a park on the other side of that wall. So I'm guessing there's in the um, beautiful entrance to a church. Graveyard through spooky season's always good. So let's just get there now. And here we are. Here's the Roman fort in Gechlige. So this is what it would have looked like. It's a nice little glass like, depiction of it. But I looked through the panels to get an impression of how the Roman fort would have looked being around 2,000 years ago. And then it's in Welsh. We have got a little bit more by here. 
what lies beneath. So the field by here actually contains the fort, which is, you can see, I can see bumps in the field. That's what's underneath there. You can see on the imagery by here. That's what was uncovered. And obviously, well, the Romans done slaving, religion, women, roads, buildings, fashion. But there's got to be a way into this fort now, so we can actually. But um, well, that's very big. And it's a stone by here. Let's have a look what it says on the stone. On the site stood the first Lewis school founded by Edward Lewis. Oh right, this is a school memorial as well. So let's go and have a look at the forts. Here we are, here's the entrance of Roman forts. There you can see his Roman fort with his fence. There's a little detailing of Roman helmets. And obviously, that is it in Welsh. Literally will not see much. I'm gonna break it too. Nature has retaken it all completely. So, let's just have a look. I'm guessing where the land has grown over it, this used to be a wall because the ground does feel tough than usual. More than just dirt and it is very bobbly and uneven. So there's quite a few of these mounds by here. If you can see there's one in the distance over there and there's one by here as well. See if there's anything poking out of the ground. That's what we're here for. We want something poking out of the ground. Don't really see much. I'm just going to state this in description before you watch it. Don't really see much here. You just know where the fort is. I think by here you can see a bit better. I see there's a wall but there. It looks like it looks like a wall but there. And all the way around. Kind of a little bit like a amphitheater style. So let's just have a look by here. I don't think we're going to see anything sticking out the ground. You can see where, where it stood strategically, if you look behind, strategy behind there. But, yeah, we're not going to see a wall today. It's a bit of stone there where I doubt it's from the fort. But when you do walk over it, it's a bit tough compared to the rest of the ground. As you can see by there, there's a lot more of it. So we've seen some Roman before in um, Repera, the hill fort. The Romans used that. But yeah, that's the Roman fort in Caleon. Oh, Caleon, sorry, get the day. So <laughs> let's head back. So there's not really much you can see. Obviously, straight ahead, you can literally see, I'll turn the camera, why it was strategic, so, uh, strategy in it. Because you can't imagine the houses not being in, it's just fields. You can see why the Romans chose it as a defensive position against the Welsh, Celts, and all that. So we're now heading back, and you see the floor by here is still sort of uneven. That could be natural or from where the mounds were. But yeah, it's quite disappointing that it's not preserved like Killian. You can see the ways of grass is a bit greener than some very by here as well, where it's lined. But still supposed to see, like I said, this is an area full of mining heritage and it's got a Roman fort. And talking about mining heritage, let's go down and just end the video in Penalta, I think. Just to see how Gechli Gay's area modernised.
The South Wales coal fields was the deepest and the richest deposit in the world. That's why the Powell Dufferin required the land. Two shafts were sank and by 1909 it was fully operational. Following World War I, the colliery saw a boom in employment and production. 2,385 men were employed, which saw 975,603 tons serviced by 1930. The colliery did find itself important to the war effort, but after the war it was nationalised and controlled by the National Coal Board, which is better known as the NCB. The NCB slowly wound down operations. It survived the minor strike of 1984 and 1985, but in 1991 it closed its doors for the final time. The workers were played out by a brass band. Re Welcome to Penalta Connery. I don't know if you recognise this, but this is some of the old building. So, here I am. Here up in Alta Colliery to um, round off this video because I think it's suit in because we looked at one part of Welsh history which was about the Romans, the early years of Wales when it was a Celtic nation in its infancy when the Romans swept Britain or Britannia, whatever they called it, Brit and conquered all the way up to Scotland, including Wales. The persecution of Welsh people by the Romans was shocking. That's one thing the Romans hate is the Celts. So I'm just going to show you a little bit more around by it, because obviously some of you might have seen on a YouTube video. But I think it's just nice to round off the video showing another stage of Welsh history where Wales grew in the industrial age and became a powerhouse of industry, became a titan of coal and steel. And Penalta Colliery is one of them we should definitely look at. It's one of two things known as black gold, which one of them is oil. Which if you're going to watch my next true crime video will be made, will be about oil. So, this is probably, I can't remember the exact number because I did do a history thing before my video. But, these little pit heads were, well, I'm not saying little, would repel men underground. But there's the winding houses by here, and I guess in the washeries up there, and that building over there is like some office blocks, maybe pit head baths. So let's go underneath this one. Well, this is more than just Roma forks now. This is the winding out of Penalta Colliery. <laughs> so let's explore. Look where the ground is. By a looks like cellars maybe down there. Entrances to the shaft. So it was quite shallow. This is something I want to show you quickly. Actually, it's a bit of um graffiti work by a. Uh, there's a man all over for you blaming on his boots, fault on fault of his feet. So that's another thing. Look another pretty thing about this. the tile work. Very old fashioned, very Victorian. Also the columns on the wall are quite spectacular. That's, I think that just sums it up perfectly. Don't steal our heritage. This is what the NCB did. It stole our heritage. And this is what Welsh history is now. It's a shadow of what it used to be. So let's carry on exploring. There's some nice little graffiti work down there. Obviously there's a couple of tags. There's more graffiti probably left by the miners as well. Down there I'm guessing. Let's just carry on having a look. There's a couple of graffiti tags. That's quite a nice one. That looks professionally done. The thing with this down there is loads of grounds where things are ripped up. Because obviously that looks like machinery was there. Over there could be machinery. This was the winding house, I can imagine. A lot of machines here. There's dips in the ground by here. And there's another graffiti art. 
more of these beautiful titles. What does this one say? All political powers come from... And that's it. So... There's another bit of graffiti by a... Which I think was another one left by a miner. Another big drop. Don't know, which does make me nervous. Cannon's last shift. Guaranteed this was when this colliery closed. They did close to like a brass band, beating them out. If you have a look up here, there is some equipment left, some machinery, which is quite cool. So, we're gonna go down this here next to another part, which is another bit of opening. We're gonna have a look at. Schools on the lunch so you can get it on. Yeah, you can get it on. But what is this about it? It's electrical circuit box. So control for short circuits to be on, on the road. This is where the probably the wheel was controlled. Okay, there's some machinery there as well. Something was by you. Okay, there's a drop by you. And the view overlooking the valley. This is just insane. Well, you didn't get this in my first video, so... This video is just gone from Roman Forts to coal mining, so I'm just going to have to change the title a bit now. Jeez, this is just insane. So I'm going to just take some photos and leave this corner in. Carry on having a look. So this is the other wheel. It's probably one's an updraft, one's a downshaft. Downcasts they call them. See a bit of the tracks where the coal drams would have ran. It's still here. It still has like a little bit of a shell in it round it. But look at that for a view. That's picturesque. And here's the other side. Winding house. So this is probably where they sealed it by a. That's probably where the trams used to come out. So it would work out probably around about by here where the tracks would have went. <sighs> but. Yeah. It's quite picturesque. So, guys, what do you think of this style of video, like exploring? Because obviously this kind of went. A bit off course from just being about the Romans to now talking about coal mining. Doing like a Welsh history sort of exploring, seeing two different sides of Welsh history. Seems like a quite good one because the video obviously is going to start as Roman, now he's gone into coal mining. I could do it with the Welsh invasion and going into like the world wars in Wales. I could do stuff like that next if you want to see more. Welsh Heritage Exploring videos, which is quite historical and quite outgoing in day. So just let me know on that if you do like to see more. I think I've probably explored as more as I can. And I think the video might have to end now, but we'll soon see. This building by here, where my finger is pointing to, this is where I was trying to go. I don't think there's a way up to it. I'm going to end the video here, I think. So yeah, that was really fun, I'm not going to lie. And just like, look at that for a view. That's just insane. That's it for today's video. It went very bipolar from just exploring Roman forts and Gekligade. Now I'm back in Penalta, went into the colliery. But if you did like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Let me know was it was more Welsh heritage. I did the Romans and colliery's today. So I might do, like I said, manor houses, war. Let's do two in one sort of thing. So let me know on that one. I will have a true crime video coming up soon. It is written, it is ready to go. And I will have the Halloween special written and ready to go to be out for Halloween. And yeah, Morales Castle, I did promise that and it will be coming. Until then, see you next time.